Hey guys, Fadi is letting you know we're not getting it confirmed that Samsung Galaxy S3 is going to have a quad-core processor. Uh, it's coming from Korea. They have interviewed some kind of senior manager uh, at Samsung that want to be anonymous. And uh, it seems uh, that it's going to be this processor that uh, we have been hearing rumors about, the Exynos 4412. Quad core clocked at 1.5 gigahertz, 32 nanometer process. If you compare it to Nvidia Tegra 3, it does seem like it's going to be around 20 to 30 percent better, uh, and also that the graphic performance is going to be better as well. So definitely, that it's going to be exciting to see this new Galaxy S3 coming out on the market. Compare it against the Nvidia Tegra 3 because I have a few of those devices, and I'm probably going to pick up the HTC One X that's also going to have the Tegra 3. If you don't live in the States, then you're going to get the uh, S4. Also, what's interesting here is that it seems like Samsung want to move away and do more stuff themselves, that they're going to try to move away from QACOM and implement their own kind of LTE chipset in their smartphones. So let's say the Samsung Galaxy S3 is going to come to the US or when it's going to come, then it's probably going to feature the Exynos processor and not a QACOM variant. So that's going to be kind of nice because that means that it's going to have kind of like the same performance as the international version and not some kind of crappy version. I know that the Galaxy S2 on T-Mobile should be a little bit like meh because the processor is a little bit meh. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we will see the S3 pretty soon. But it seems like we may have to wait uh, a, a couple of more weeks slash month because we do know that the Olympics is coming up. Samsung is the main sponsor. It's going to be in London. It's going to be in the summer. But May would be nice. Or earlier, of course. But, uh, yeah, we will see. Bye-bye.